Let's break down the updated best playbooks for Madden 24. And in each playbook, I'm going to even show you a little small mini scheme that you can use in that playbook to get started. Let's start with a bit of a sleeper playbook that's actually really good, and that is the Chicago Bears playbook. Now, this playbook has a ton of good under center sets in both single back and I form. You've got single back bunch tight end, which you don't find in a whole lot of playbooks. And this one is really good for running and passing. As I said, you've got some really sneaky I form formations here with good stretch runs. You've got the weak under center as well but now let's get to shotgun where this playbook shines a bit more you've got the split close pro which is pretty unique and not in a lot of playbooks you've got the wing tight nasty you've even got a gun deuce close which is very underrated now let's look at the formation tight y off and this is actually one of the best formations in madden but the bears playbook has the best version of this formation because it has all of the plays whereas other playbooks that may have this formation they don't have some of the specific plays that this playbook does and we're gonna break this one down in just a second we've also got the normal y off close which is really good and then we've got the gun bunch strong offset which is another one of the best formations in the entire game that you can use to your advantage you've also got tight slots halfback weak which again is one of the better formations in this game and you can't find this in a ton of playbooks you've got tight open another sneaky good formation you've got some more trips and a bunch of empty sets now let's take a bit of a sneak peek at the gun tight y off and i can show you why it's so good now i actually did a full breakdown of this formation on my patreon which i will link below i have all of my ebooks all of my formation breakdowns the best defenses in the game and just basically everything you need to help you get better and beat all of your opponents at madden but i'll give you a sneak peek of that we're gonna look at the play rpo zone alert glance and we're gonna look at tight end corner now as some of you may know rpos are really good in this game because the defense does not react the best to them but this is one of the sneaky better ones in the game because this bubble screen to the outside is actually really good and it's hard to stop for less than five yards and if you take into account all the other good plays in this formation plus the fact that you can audible over into that gun bunch strong offset that we talked about it makes defending that rpo a nightmare because you have so many good things at your disposal now what you want to do on this play is you kind of want to read the defense pre-snap if you feel like you've got the advantage to the outside go ahead and throw the bubble if the box is a little weak you can just let the qb hand it off to the running back here i can see that there's quite a few people in the box so i'm looking to go ahead and dump off this screen the blocking is so good on it and it gets upfield really quickly but the run aspect of this is really good as well, and you can easily pick up four to five yards a pop, maybe more. Now, the play tight end corner is such a tough play to stop because it beats man and zone really well, and you can set it up a bunch of different ways, as I've shown on my Patreon, but I'll just give you a brief breakdown of why the play is so good. You've got an angle route from the running back, which does a good job at getting underneath zones, but it also is going to cook man defense as well. You've got the zig route to X, which cuts to the inside. Again, it's going to get underneath a lot of zone coverages for quick easy dump downs but it also fries man coverage and then you've got these two corner routes which do a pretty good job against man but if you know you're going against zone you can always streak or fade one of your outside receivers like so and that's going to open up these corner routes on the sideline against zone for huge gains like that this B receiver on the outside is kind of a wild card as well. You could streak him. You could leave him on his route. You can throw this little quick route. It gets underneath a lot of zones really easily just like that for five plus yards on the sideline. You could also hot route him to a zig route, which gives you even another man beater, which is really good. Now you have two zigs on the play, a halfback angle, and two corner routes. The next playbook is the West Coast playbook. Now, this has a pretty decent under center. Nothing crazy to write home about, but the doubles north and single back is actually a sneaky good form that not a lot of people know about you can run the ball decently out of this but you have some good passes like the pa rollout and slot corner you've got a few i form formations for when you want to run the ball you've got some strong formations including strong close which is in my opinion one of the more underrated formations in the game i even did a full breakdown on this formation earlier this year which i'll link at the end of the video these next two formations are really unique and they're not in other playbooks that's the near and the far and there's so many different variations now it's really easy to run out of these formations with plays like halfback inside and fullback dive because they have really fast handoffs but you have a bunch of passing plays in all of these formations that have posts and corner routes drags texas routes you name it these formations are super underrated and a lot of people have no clue how to stop them because they're not used to going against them you've got a couple pistol formations but now let's get to shotgun
shotgun where this playbook really shines. You've got gun doubles, but the gun bunch is really the selling point of this playbook. And it's one of the more unique gun bunches in the game with plays like wide receiver post, which you just don't see in a lot of playbooks anymore. You've got Z spot. You've got deep attack. Another play that is not in any other playbook. You've got a sweep, which is not very common in gun bunches. You've got the play stick, which doesn't look like much, but it's one of the best plays in the game. And it's super hard to stop. And you don't find this version of it in other playbooks. You've got mesh post. You've got verticals, which is always great. Deep corner, which is always great. You've got corner strike. You've got pretty much every play you could want. I actually did a full ebook breakdown on the West Coast playbook. It's my latest ebook that I dropped on my Patreon. So again, that is linked below in the pinned comment. If you want to take your game to a higher level, unlock all the ebooks, all the mini schemes and learn the ins and outs of this game. You've got gun tight slots, which honestly, this isn't the best version of gun tight. It's got a few okay plays in it. You've got a good spread set. You've actually got an underrated tray open and you've got empty tray. But again, the selling point of this playbook is just how good the gun bunch is mixed with some of the unique under center stuff. Now, let me show you why the play stick is so good. Now, you do want to run this gun bunch formation with the bunch receivers going to the wide side of the field like I have it set up here. But what's so unique about this is the angle of that corner route. Now, there are some advantages ways you could set this up which I have broken down in the ebook so I'm gonna leave that private but just a very basic setup for this play is you can streak the RB and what happens here is this corner route does a good job at getting underneath zones and you also have the flood concept with the quick check down of the tight end and then you have X going over the middle which can beat man or zone if you rather have like a drag route instead of a slant you can do that as well but this is just a really simple quick snap play that is super hard to stop it's one of the more easy basic setups in this game and again you have things like this seam streak that can do a good job against zones as well that gets overlooked and you can't forget to play verticals most of you know it if you don't know how to run it I'm just going to show a basic way we can go ahead and take our running back and we can hot route him to run this in route and this right here is just one of the best plays in Madden history you can quick dump down underneath to your running back and that pairs perfectly with this crossing route to RB so if your opponent goes to user that you can just dump it down underneath you also have the quick pass to the tight end up the seam which is a tried and true way to destroy zone defenses and against a lot of zone defenses you can quick pass b to the outside for huge gains just like this as well next up is the Bengals playbook which was also on my list at the beginning of the year but it's just been so tried and true all year and this single back is one of the best in the game you've got deuce close which is great you've got wing you've got wing flex close with all these good under center stretch runs you've got bunch tight end which is not in a lot of playbooks you've got the bunch x nasty which isn't as good as it used to be but it's still pretty viable you've got tight y off tight y off flex you've got everything you can ask for in this single back and then you get to shotgun where the playbook really really shines so you've got the split slot which is okay you've got wing slot offset then you've got tight y off now remember in the bears playbook we have this formation as well and it's really good it just doesn't have as many of the plays as the bears playbook has but you still have the rpo which is good you have good plays like flood drive red zone scissors choice pivot return and the pa go slot cross you've also got tight y off week you've got doubles doubles offset you've got trips and then you get to where the playbook really shines even more you've got the bunch halfback strong another formation that's also in that bears playbook with some of these great passing plays you've got the bunch offset which is the better version it's more of a traditional gun bunch you've got some great plays here like bench pivot z spot and go bunch drive verts halfback under which is great speed dig flood and more then you've got the tight slots halfback week which again is in that bears playbook this playbook is somewhat similar to the bears not exactly the same but it has a lot of the same stuff that you would like in both playbooks it's got spread it's got the tray y flex it's got tray open and it's got a ton of empty sets about as much as you could ask for so if you like going when empty this might be the playbook for you but let's show you the best part of this playbook it is the tight slots halfback week and the reason for that is because this playbook has the play flood which is not in any other playbooks and that makes this playbook very unique now this formation is one of the better ones in the game but the play flood is going to be the bread and butter and i'm going to show you how to run it now this gun tight slots formation is another one that i also broke down on my patreon fully in depth the entire mini scheme so again if you want to check out all the best mini schemes and ebooks and defenses make sure to check that out below but the play flood 
is the big money play and you want to run this with the running back on the short side of the field and the great thing about this is there's a bunch of different ways you can set it up which i broke down on the patreon but you can honestly quick snap the play and it's still very good this running back is going to be the easiest dump down of your life if they do not shade the defense down or drop their zone adjustments you can literally kill them with a thousand cuts underneath and get five to eight yards a pop but the great thing is you can also hit the corner route on this as well no matter what zone defense they're running if they're not making any adjustments both of them are open and then of course you've got check downs underneath if they're trying to run and user that that's when you go to the tight end now i like to put b on a zig route because it just gives me another option in case it's man and i don't need him to beat zone so if it's man i can hit the corner route i can hit the drag to the tight end i can hit the zig to b and i can even hit x if there's no safety in the deep middle of the field so if it's a cover two man or a cover zero he'll be open and then the next play you want to look at is mesh spot this is another one that's going to be a little bit better versus man what i like to do is put x a lot of times on a flat like this and then i'm just going to try to hit him underneath with these meshing routes if it's zone they're going to usually get underneath zones for easy gains and if it's man coverage they're going to mesh and either one if not both will be open if you're facing more zone you can go ahead and you can streak x if you want because what that'll do is help open up this post a little bit for a bigger gain like so and that's what i love to do against people that love running zone and a lot of times you can get out of there for a touchdown just like that next up is the patriots playbook so of course we've got a pretty decent single back here with a lot of different options that you can use we've got some i form stuff but shotgun again is where this playbook is going to shine you've got the wing flex you've got double y off pats which you can't find in other playbooks with great plays like switch fork that are really tough to defend you've got the double flex pats which again is unique to this playbook but then you get to where the playbook gets absolutely insane these next few are where this playbook makes its money the y off trips pats one of the more unique formations in the game you can't find this in a lot of playbooks it might only be in one other playbook which i think is the bills but it doesn't have all the same plays plays like pats y out the halfback power run plays like scat and wheel mesh this formation is a pain to defend and i'm going to be breaking it down soon on my patreon as well then you get to the trips tight end which is one of the best formations this year but it's kind of slept on not a lot of people use it or at least not as many people as i think should use it but one of the best players in the world just won a tournament using this formation and yes once again this is a formation that i have fully broken down on my patrons i mean we got tons of content over there tons of great high level breakdowns and i'll give you a little taste of that in a minute we've also got a pretty good gun bunch which we know is always one of the best formations in the game you've got verticals you've got corner strike you've got mesh you've got pat sale which is unique to this playbook you then have the bunch strong offset again we've seen this in a few playbooks you've got plays like corner strike you've got another version of verticals here you have wide trail which is great you even have a toss play then you've got tight slots you've got doubles you've got some trip sets which is good and then you also have a bunch of empty sets so again if you're more of an empty set guy you like to spread things out a lot this is another playbook you would want to look at now let's take a look at the play pats y post now again this is a formation i broke down in depth on my patreon but a simple way you can set this up is you can put x on a smoke screen and then you can streak y and what's going to happen here is you're going to be able to hit b against pretty much any zone coverage in the game and if they drop their zones way too far back you can just simply dump it down to x then you're gonna have b which will do good against man but you also have the tight end on this unique post route that'll also cook man coverage but if you're dealing with zone i absolutely love this combo because the b is just gonna get super wide open against any zone in the game and you have the tight end which does good against man but also you can click on and catch it underneath most zones like that in the intermediate part of the field for huge gains and then of course you got to play verticals one of the best plays in the game this destroys man and it destroys zone so against man the b receiver is super good at frying man and so is the tight end corner route now for the running back you can put them on an out route you can put them on an in route you can kind of do whatever you want just give yourself a check down option because these deep zones or these deep routes rather are going to pull those zones back and give you easy five plus yards underneath and you're always going to be able to attack these zones really well with the four verticals concept because they just absolutely make it impossible for the deep coverage against cover threes you can hit the b receiver and you can also hit the y receiver in the seam if you time it up right and against cover twos you're going to be able to hit the x receiver down the sideline for massive gains just like this next up we have the chiefs playbook which is also the exact same as the commander's playbook so this is a two for one it's got a pretty good single back with bunch nasty tight y off wing nasty you've got a lot of stretches that you can use in these playbooks you've got i form close which you don't see 
and a lot of playbooks anymore. And you've got the stretch runs. You've got some good pass plays there as well. You've also got some strong stuff. You've got pistol bunch tight end, which is one of the better formations in the game. And you can only find it, I believe, in this Chiefs and Commanders playbook. The speed option is one of the best runs in the game. And then you have plays like cross drag, slot option, and more. Then in shotgun, you have a gun deuce close, one of the better gun deuce closes in the game. You've got RPOs that are really good here. You've got PA slot cross, which is also really underrated. You've got wing stack. You've got U off trips. You've got the tight Y off formation, which is pretty solid. You've got the flex Y off close. You've got tight Y off weak, normal off close. A lot of close and tight sets here that are really tough to defend. Then you've got trio, which again is pretty similar to a trips tight end, but it's got some really different and unique plays like an RPO pin alert bubble. So you have a pulling run here with the running back, but you also have a backside bubble screen. You've got dagger sit, which is a unique play. You've got verticals, which is basically similar to the verticals concept we just went over. You've got speed option out of this, which again is one of the more glitchier runs. Then you've got the bunch Y off flex, which is another very unique formation. You've got bunch strong nasty, another unique formation with some crazy plays like the mesh flat spot, which is really good. The PA double post and some really great RPO zone bubbles. Then you've got bunch X nasty as well, which is really unique. This is one of the more unique playbooks in the entire game. You've got tight open, which again is good. And yes, has a speed option here as well. This playbook is filled with speed options and a lot of people have no clue how to stop them. You've got some good spread sets, some tray sets as well, and a few empty sets on top of that. But let's take a look at the pistol bunch tight end and we're going to look at the speed option. Now this is yet another formation that I broke down in full on my Patreon. Yes, we're working over there, all the best schemes and ebooks. And I'm going to keep letting you know because I want to let you know where you can find the best information on this stuff. But let me show you why the speed option is so good. It's because they almost always go for the quarterback. Now this is something you do need to practice or else you can easily mess it up. But this is a play that is super easy to pick up yards on the ground all day. You can even flip the run and take it by behind the blocking receivers if you want and sometimes I think this works out even better and then when you mix the play cross drag in with it it just makes it very tough to stop because they're gonna over commit to stopping that option and then when you hit them with this play that has these meshing routes these crossing routes that cook man end zone coverage it just becomes a lot to defend next up we've got the Jets playbook and this one has been solid from day one it still might be my overall favorite playbook in the game you've got a ton of under center stuff with the bunch tight end and single back tight doubles wing pair deuce close all of the best stretch plays and pass plays then you've got i form close i form slot i form wing a lot of good stretch plays a lot of good pass plays in these under center formations then you've got strong close again not a lot of playbooks have this and i still think this is one of the more underrated formations this year very good for running and for passing then you get the shotgun and this is just a great shotgun playbook as well you've got wing slot offset you've got tight doubles which is not in a ton of playbooks anymore another really good tight set you've got doubles you've got the y off trio but then you get to where the playbook shines these next few formations are all just so good you've got trips tight end offset which is similar to regular trips tight end but you have some different plays like the x under which is good you've got a great rpo bubble you've got pa scissors you've got option plays i broke down this formation as well on my patreon it just is what it is in fact i broke down this whole ebook as well i have a mini scheme on trips tight end but i also have a jets ebook as well what can i say i've been working this year i've put a lot of content over there for you guys that want to get better anyway we've got gun bunch one of the better gun bunches in the game with deep corner one of those great plays 518 hook verticals mesh spot inside cross speed dig which is underrated and more then you've got the bunch strong offset as well with these good rpos these toss plays y trail dagger corner strike you name it you've also got gun bunch tight end which is not in many playbooks this year and it's still a very good formation and you've got tight offset tight end which i believe might only be in one other playbook this year this was one of the best formations last year it's still really good this year but it kind of went under the radar because people are using different things because this isn't in as many playbooks as it used to be you've got spread you've got the tray y flex you've got tray open and then you've got a few empty sets as well now i could show you a ton of different plays out of this playbook it just has so much to offer and i got a lot of it on my patreon but i'll just show you some stuff out of the tight offset tight end which i think is underrated and i love the play spot now the reason i love this play is because it gives me so many options so one thing i like to do to set this up is i like to have my tight end on the short side of the field and one thing we can do is we can go ahead and we can put B on a fade and we can leave it like this. Now, if we run it this way, we can flood zones easily to the right. It's kind of similar to the other play we looked at in the Bengals playbook. If they're not going to shade down, we pick them apart underneath with the running back all day. But if we wait, we're still able to hit the tight end for a huge gain down the sideline just like that. 
And against man coverage, this tight end route works really well against that. But on the left side, we have the zig route that's stock that does a great job against man and another corner that does a good job against man as well. And if they're playing zone, we can even still dink and dunk this underneath for an easy game. But another thing I like to do if I know I'm going against zone coverage is I'll also put X on a streak and motion them out because now this gives us the opportunity to destroy zone deep down the sideline on both sides. We can do it on the short side to the tight end or we can quick dump down to the running back if we don't have time. But we can also now now hit the Y receiver deep down this side of the field because the streak is going to run off the deep coverage. But what I love about this playbook is it has so many good formations so I can quickly audible over to the gun bunch tight end to plays like PA boot over which is always good. I can audible over to gun bunch offset to Y trail or to these RPOs. I can audible over to regular gun bunch verticals. I can audible over to the trips tight end offset and hit verticals here or the RPO bubble. There's a lot at your disposal in this playbook and that's why I did a full ebook on the Patreon. And this just makes it super, super hard to go against when you have all these formations with different runs, RPOs, and passes that they have to worry about at the same time. Next, we've got to look at the Eagles playbook, which many would consider the overall best playbook in the game. Now, you have a decent single back here, but one of the best formations is the single back wing slot. This is a formation that a lot of people like to run because this stretch alert bubble is simply but probably the best run in the game. It's super hard to defend with the bubble and the stretch with the way this formation lines up. But you have other plays like mesh spot, the P a boot and plays like PA tight end scissors which just make this formation a nightmare. You've got some pistol stuff here which is pretty unique to this playbook including plays like the Philly special if you want to kind of just trick your opponent a little bit and then you've got a really good shotgun with a lot of tight sets, deuce close, wing slot, double offset, a lot of different unique formations here but where this playbook is really going to shine is when you get a little bit further down. So you've got the tight Y off which is good, you've got the Y off trips which is decent, You've got trips tight end offset, which again, I've broken down this formation. You've got trips tight end offset week, which is a really good complement and a little bit different. So they go together well, but really the biggest thing with this playbook is the bunch offset. It's one of the best bunches in the entire game because of plays like double post, which many would consider the overall best play in the game. You've also got Z spot. You've got speed dig. You've got curl flat Z spot and go flood bench pivot. You've got verts. You've got pretty much any play you could want in a bunch. Then you've still got bunch strong nasty with plays like the mesh flat spot which you can use. You've got bunch open offset which can be tricky especially with the RPOs. Now let's look at this wing slot formation the play stretch alert bubble. Now looking at the single back wing slot this stretch alert bubble is just I mean it just look how good it is. It's it's just super hard to defend. It's honestly a glitchy run this year. The defense just doesn't react well to it. You have to be really good to know how to stop it. You're not going to stop it just running base defense or just running regular stuff especially with this back breaker on the back end with the bubble screen. And when you mix that with plays like mesh spot, it just becomes a pain to defend. So we can streak RB or we could put them on a flat if we want to try to take the zones out that way. But really, you're looking for these meshing routes, especially when they're worried about stopping the run. And then you've got PA tight end scissors. I like to just go ahead a lot of times and streak X. They're going to be expecting the run. And this is going to allow you to just absolutely destroy them versus zone and man with these corners and these post routes. Now, if you want to know how to dominate running these strong close formation, which were in some of these playbooks, make sure to check out this video right here on the screen.